direct and inverse variation is our next part. So we have here two examples. So we're going to solve for this two given. Okay, so I will give you first the steps on how to solve a variation. So the first step is to identify if the given is direct or inverse variation. So here in our first problem, we have here x varies directly as y. So here we have the word directly. So we can say that this given problem is a direct variation. So that is the first step. So number two step is to identify the equation. So the equation here, we have x varies directly as y. So nauna yung x, therefore the equation will be x is equal to k y. So x varies directly as y. So that is our second step. Third step, so we have to divide the statement into two. So we have here two parts of solving. The first part is solving for the constant and the second part is solving for the uh, missing value of the variable. So if we're going to divide the statement into two, so the first part will be here, if x varies directly as y and x is equal to 27 when y is equal to 3. So this will be the first part. So this will be the division of the statement. So this will be the first part and the second part will be find x when y is 7. So most of the time, um, the second part starts with the word find. So that is most of the time. So we're going to solve first the first part of the statement. Remember, the first part of the statement is for solving the constant. Okay? Let's try to solve for the constant. So x varies directly as y. So x is equal to 27, y is equal to 3. So the formula for the constant is k is equal to x over y. Or in short, so this direct variation, we're looking for the constant, so we have to divide. So just be careful in dividing. Since nauna nga yung x in the statement, so yung numerator natin will be the x value. And then ang denominator natin will be the y value. So x is 27. And then ang y is equal to 3. So take note we have two values of y. So, ano ba ang kukunin natin? Yung 3 or yung 7? So, kaya, yun yung dahilan kung bakit natin um, divide into 2 or sineperate natin yung buong statement. So, ito yung division, ito yung first statement. So, lahat ng values ng x at y, so, first solving lang. And then, yung second statement, kung ano yung value dyan, yun yung mapupunta sa second solving. So, sa first statement natin, so, nandito yung y is equal to 3. So, yun yung gagamitin natin value ng y. So, 27 divided by 3. So, that is equal to 9. So, the value of k here is 9. So, we're done with the first part of the solving. So, we're done with the first part of the statement. So, the second part here, find x when y is equal to 7. So, dito na natin gagamitin yung ating... Um, equation which is x is equal to ky so next one we have to replace the value so find x so yun yun nawawala and then ang value ng k natin ay 9 so we have here 9 and then ang value ng y ay 7 so all you have to do is to multiply so 9 times 7 is 63. So therefore, the value of our variable or x is equal to 63. So next one, we have here, if r varies directly as the square of m and r is equal to 36, when m is equal to 2, so find r if m is equal to 3. So first step, 
So we have to identify if the given is direct or inverse. So this one is direct variation. So second step, so we are going to write the equation. So R varies directly as the square of M. So we have here R varies directly. So directly magkatabi yung K at saka yung variable as the square of M. So that will be our equation. So next step is to separate or divide the statement into two. So saan kaya ang katapusan ng first statement? So again, so most of the time, um, naghihiwalay yung pinakabuong statement dun sa word na find. So ito yung find. So therefore, dito natin nahatiin yung ating statement. So the first part of the statement is if R varies directly as the square of M and R is equal to 36 when M is equal to 2. So that is our first part. And then the second part will be find R if M is equal to 3. So next one. So next step is to find the constant. So in finding the constant, we are going to use the first part of the statement. So this is the first part of the statement. So here. So that is the first part of the statement. So we're going to write the formula for the constant. Again, direct. Looking for the constant. So we have to divide. So k is equal to. So again, nauna yung r, so nasa ibabaw yung r, over m squared. So dahil meron tayo yung square of m. So next, so replace the value, r is equal to 36, and then ang m natin ay, is it 2 or 3? So it should be 2, because this is part of the first statement. So 2 and don't forget to write the squared. Dahil ang ating formula ay r over m squared. So simplify first the exponent. We have 36 over 4. So 2 squared is equal to 4. Then k is equal to 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. So the value of k here is 9. Coincidence lang po yan ha. So, hindi po laging 9. Coincidence lang. So, we're done with that step, finding the constant. So, the next step is to solve for the missing value of the variable. And we're going to use the second statement. So, again, this time, we are going to use the equation. So, r is equal to k m squared. So, find r if m is equal to 3. So, r is missing... The value of k is 9, replace that value. The value of m now is 3. So we are using now the second part of the statement. So we have here 3 raised to 2. So again, um, simplify first the exponent, or the number with exponent. So 9, so 3 squared is 9, so 3 times 3 is 9. Then r is equal to 9 times 9 is 81. So that is our answer. Let's have another example. If x varies inversely as y and x is equal to 16 when y is equal to 4, find y when x is equal to 8. So the first thing we have to do is to identify if the given is direct variation or inverse variation. So based on the statement, so we have here the word inversely. So therefore, the given statement here is inverse variation. So the second step is to write the equation. So we have here x varies inverse less y. So nauna yung x, so we're going to write first x is equal to k over y. Since ang given nga natin ay inverse variation. So the next one is to divide the whole given statement into two parts. So the first part here is if x varies inversely as y and x is equal to 16 when y is equal to 4. So that will be the first part. And then the second part here is find y when x is equal to 8. So after dividing the whole given, 
So we're going to look for the value of the constant. And in looking for the value of constant, so we are going to use the first part of the given statement. So we have here x varies in braceless y and x is equal to 16 when y is equal to 4. Since the given is inverse variation, so the formula for the constant is k is equal to x, y, where x is equal to 16 and y is equal to 4. And of course, in inverse variation, when we are looking for the constant, so we multiply. 16 times 4 is 64. So therefore, the value of k, the value of k here is 64. After looking for the constant, so we're going to look for the value of y. And that is the second part of the given statement. So we're going to use now the equation we had a while ago. So that is x is equal to k over y. Now, after that, we're going to replace the value. So the value of x here is 8. And then the value of k is 64. And then over y. So kung ano yung hinahanap natin. So after that, since nasa ilalim yung y, so we're going to do a certain method. So we call this cross multiplication. So naglagay ako ng over 1 dito so we can do the cross multiplication method. So to cross multiply, we just have to cross and then multiply. So 8 times y is 8y. And then 1 times 64 is 64. So, kung makikita natin, yung y ay wala na sa denominator. So, after this, so the variable should be alone. So, we have to remove 8. And we can remove 8 by dividing it by 8. And do it to the left, do it to the right. So, divide this also by 8. Cancel 8. So, y is already alone or isolated. Then simplify 64 divided by 8 is 8. So therefore, the value of y here is equal to 8. So another example here, if p varies inversely as the square of m and p is equal to 3 over 4 when m is equal to 4, find p when m is equal to 8. So again, we're going to identify if the given is direct or inverse. And obviously here, we have the word inversely, so the given is inverse variation. So after that, we're going to write the equation. So the equation here is P varies inversely as the square of M. So inversely, nasa ilalim po yung M. So K over M. Squared. So don't forget the exponent 2 because of the word is square. Square of m, m squared. And then after that, so we're going to separate or divide the whole given into two parts. So this is the division. So we have here until m is equal to 4. And then the second part of the statement will be find p when m is equal to 8. So after dividing, so we have to solve for the constant. So solving the constant, we're going to use the first part of the equation. So here, inverse variation, in order for us to get the constant, so we multiply. The value of p, so we have pm squared, so that will be our formula. So k is equal to p, the value of p is 3 over 4, and then m is equal to 4, so it will become m or 4 squared. Then after that, we're going to simplify. So we're going to simplify first 4 squared. So k is equal to 3 over 4 
times 16. So 4 squared is equal to 16. Then after that, we're going to multiply 3 by 16 and then 4 by 1. So again, ginawa ko lang siyang 16 over 1 para maging pareho silang um, fraction. And in multiplying fraction, so we multiply the numerator by numerator and then denominator by denominator. So 3 times 16 is, we have 48. And then 4 times 1 is equal to 4. And 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. So therefore, the value of k here in our problem is equal to 12. Okay, next part. So let's deal with the second part of the statement. So find p when m is equal to 8. So this time we're going to use the equation. So p is equal to k over m squared. So we're looking for p, and then replace the value for k. So the value of k is 12, and the value of m is 8. So 8 squared. So don't forget the squared. Simplify the denominator. So we have 12 over, so 8 squared is, so 8 times 8, 64. And our answer will be 12 over 64, but not yet our final answer, since we can reduce this given into lowest term. So 12 and 64 can be divided into 4. So 12, so let's have it this way, 12 divided by 4 over 4. Since 4 over 4 is equal to 1, so the value will not change. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 64 divided by 4 is 16. So now our answer is already in lowest term or in simplest form. So therefore, this is our final answer. So P is equal to 3 over 16.